Hi there, I'm Paul Tannehill, and I'll be covering in this screencast a bunch of apps and extensions we use in e-learning and general educational technology. So I've got my browser set up with a bunch of tabs with the various apps I'll be talking about. First off the bat is Socrative. You'll see Socrative is a tool that lets teachers engage and assess their students with educational activities on tablets, laptops, and smartphones. Let's look at Quizlet. Quizlet is basically a tool that a high school sophomore built to help him study his French. And it's kind of neat, the story behind that. But it's a pretty cool little tool for building quizzes. Next up is Poplet. Poplet helps students think and learn visually. They can capture facts, thoughts, and images and learn to create relationships between them. I've seen this in use at a conference and it's pretty impressive. Next up is Wordle. Wordle generates word clouds from text you provide. You've seen these word clouds on various blogs. You can also use them in your e-learning courses. Next up is an extension for Google Chrome browser called Chrome Speak. Chrome Speak can read aloud any selected text within your browser. Now think of those possibilities. Now, since we're talking about Chrome extensions, there are a host of Chrome browser extensions we can talk about next time. Moving on to Knowledge Vision. I got to look at Knowledge Vision as a way to potentially replace what we used to have with Slide Rocket and now Clear Slide. Knowledge Vision has a promising platform for audio narration enabled online slideshows. Lastly, next to lastly I should say, is related to audio and e-learning is a nice blog post I found recently talking more about audio and e-learning. Now lastly, a really nice site showing the best study apps, tools, tips, and techniques. First off is Writer. I haven't used this app, but it says it saves your notes automatically as you type them. Now there are a number of note-taking apps. I've used a few and I like, I like a couple of three of them actually both as standalone apps and as browser extensions. I should do a future video on that. Rescue time looks handy. If you spend too much time on Facebook, etc., etc., on non-study related activities, rescue time can help you track the time you spend on those activities and get you focused where you need to be. Probably my favorite app among all this collection is Evernote. I've been using Evernote now for about five years and in my Evernote, I have got stuff that I've collected up over the years. I'm talking web pages, images, stories, just blocks of text that I've copied and pasted into it. And it collects them up into collections that you can access on your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, your mobile phone, all across those devices into your one Evernote account. And you come across something that you don't need right now, you might use next week or next month, it's in your Evernote. This is a great app. I recommend it. It's great for saving lists and bookmarks or even whole web pages. And that doesn't even scratch the surface. Evernote is terrific. I'm kind of a fan. Next we have iStudies Pro. Helps you track school assignments and projects, save notes, manage tasks, and organize complicated schedules. Looks like it's be good for students. Questia is a web-based library features the largest online collection of magazines, books, journals, papers, and articles. Sounds pretty amazing. Inspirations can help you get your thoughts in order. I could use that. Brainstorm ideas and set daily, weekly, or monthly goals for your learning. Now Do This is a simple but efficient tool for tracking tasks. A few different task managers out there. This looks pretty promising. Zeit says it helps you keep up with the best content from your favorite blogs, websites, even Twitter streams. Looks like it's a collator. Smartsheet allows you to create task lists and assign deadlines to your projects. But its most useful feature is the ability to share everything with remote team members. A collaboration. That's good stuff. Voice reading app can help you get some of your course reading out of the way while you drive the kids to school, head to work, or to do the dishes, etc. Sounds like it might be pretty amazing for students. Reference Generator 
Constructing, organizing, and managing academic citations can be tedious, but a reference generator makes the whole process easy. Now, there are a number of citation generators that I have seen and read and heard about. Lastly, we've got Cam Scanner. Research shows that taking notes by hand can improve long-term retention. That is true for me. But it can be difficult to keep track of handwritten notes. Looks like this is an app that you can scan anything right into your phone or tablet by just taking a picture, and then the scanned documents can be converted to PDF and sent to your laptop or other devices. Now, this may or may not be similar to what I've used for about the last six years. That's my LiveScribe pen. Now, that is a handy tool right there. Of course, we're out of time during this screencast, but maybe a LiveScribe pen screencast, huh? I'd like to quote this and always keep this in mind with all the cool ed tech stuff that I cover. Although productivity apps can certainly be useful in many cases, keep in mind that it is possible to have too much of a good thing. Choose your apps carefully and make sure that each one will actually help you rather than serve as yet another distraction. We keep our focus not on the technology, but on ways we can help our students increase learning and retention and success. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the next screencast on apps and extensions.